Hey all, welcome to Slay the Spire. Today we're playing the daily challenge for July 1st, 2020. The character of the Ironclad and the modifier star Chimera. Your starting deck is a fusion of all characters. Green cards, green cards are not appearing in rewards and shops. In big game hunter, elite enemies are now swarming the Spire and drop better rewards. Uh, I see up here Vorpal in first place with a very solid 1500 score. Congratulations, very good score up here. Although obviously the big game hunter will help, but can't really get this high up without uh, perfecting a lot of those elites. So let's see how well we can do. All right, uh, so, oh yeah, I see a four lead path on uh, multiple path actually on both the left and the right. So if I go on the far right, I can do two question marks, no, th four question marks total and two shops or three shops, depending. If I go on the left or the middle left, I can get three early question marks and five total, but no shop. Interesting. I do wonder, so with Chimera, I have one bash, um, eruption, zap, survivor, and then three strike and three defense. Um, because I cannot exit wrath, I will keep the uh, eruption for the slime boss. That might be useful. I think I will go for the shop, though, because that will allow me to possibly get some good cards. So that way, I will still do four question marks worth on the left. I would have done five. Mm. It's a tough call. And both paths have four elites. No, I think if I have any chance of perfecting things, I should probably go for the early shop. Because that way I can pick up some good offensive cards. This might be a big uh, difference though, so I'm curious. Um, well, let's see how my score ends up looking. Uh, and then we can go from there. Alright, let's do Survivor and then Zap Strike. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, the problem with the um, Eruption is that I basically have to play it only when I'm confident I can kill, which is, for example, 12, 21. Yeah, that's good. Okay. All right, Dagger Throw, Acrobatics, Armaments. I should focus a little bit on Offense first. Um, remove or Heal. I do have a shop upcoming. I don't want to remove anything yet. I'd rather buy something better from the shop. Uh, let's kill one of you. And then do defend, okay. All right, not getting attacked here. So yeah, I'm okay entering eruption here since uh, I think I need two strikes now that I'm weakened uh, or an eruption, okay. All right, backflip, footwork, or iron wave. Uh, iron wave, again, a uh, good offensive card. And then here I got a champion belt on the first try. One of you apply vulnerable, also apply one weak. Makes the bash much more powerful. Okay, now Blur is good. I was hoping for offense, but I guess Anger is not a ba bad idea. Can I do Anger and Blur? 130. No, I'm, am I? Wait, 100. No, 120. I should be fine. Let's do that. Let's do Anger, Blur. Maybe a block push would have been a good idea too, but I guess I can't afford that. All right, let's see. Hang on. This is the right path, right? Yeah. All right, it, it might be difficult to perfect this one. Um, I guess I can fully defend with Blur and then both defensive cards, but then... Yeah, I think I'll just give up on perfecting this one because next turn, if I do that, I'll have six block. I'll need, I won't be able to code somebody. Yeah, let me forget perfecting this particular fight and just, you know, work towards perfecting the other ones because this one would be hard. I think against the like Vulan and Gremlin knob, I have a slightly better chance. Yeah, for example, I can't do eruption here. I'll end up taking way too much damage. Uh, let's do Survivor. Defend. I would have been fully defended if I had decided to play the blur last turn. But then I would I would have dealt barely any damage to the sentries, and a turn like this would have caused me to uh, pretty much stop fully defending. But uh, yeah, at least one of them was off the field now. Yeah, this first this first elite would have been would have been very difficult. Um, do I want to enter wrath now? Eighteen twenty seven. Not enough to kill this guy, so let's not risk it. Okay, strike. All right. Yeah, here I was thinking I could perfect. I'm not even preserving a bunch of HP. Let me do this. That way I'm also somewhat defended next turn. Mm -hmm. And then here I can do Zap and Survivor. Okay. Yeah, this fight is going a little slow. Um, I'm going to speed this up because I don't think I'll uh, take a bunch of damage. So I'll be right back. All right, uh, I got it. We got Ginger. You can no longer become weakened. Very nice. And uh, after image seems like a good idea. It is defensive in nature. But it does seem like a great idea. Let's take it. Also, if I get a Juggernaut now, that would be amazing. Do I want to upgrade that first away? I think I should upgrade the uh, Bash first. Yeah. Maybe even the Eruption, because I'm going to use it up until the first Botham. Maybe a little beyond that, too. All right, so Lagavulin here. I definitely... Oof. 
I would like to apply the bash, but no, I should get the after image going first. Let's do a zap. Okay. All right, and no after image here. Eruption will wake him, and then next turn I'll be in a bad position. I don't think I can do eruption here. Uh, yeah, let's wait. I'll do the after image next turn. All right, after image, a dagger throw, and then uh, I can do blur for a little bit of block. Okay. All right, 18. Uh, well, I can apply weakness, but that's pretty much it. Uh, I can fully defend, though, so that's good. Okay. All right, another 18. Uh, let's see. So nothing I can do to fully defend here, right? Yeah, I can... Actually, never mind. If I play all of these, I'm fully defended. Just barely, okay? Still have to deal a bunch of damage, though. Definitely want to apply one more bash, right? Uh, let me do anger. Uh... Let me see if Dagger Throw gives me... Yeah, no, that's not going to be enough. All right, Bash or two strikes. Uh, definitely the Bash here. Okay, so now I have a reasonable chance of actually killing. Eh, do I? I'd have to drive the Eruption. So 12 and another 7 uh, times 2, 14. No, that's not going to be enough. Uh, all right, let's do Blur, Defend, Defend, and then Anger. I was very close, but unfortunately can't perfect this one. Not yet, at least. Uh, all right, let's do strike a seven, six, um, and another eight. That's 21 plus three. I think that should be enough to kill, right? Uh, yes, exactly enough. All right, I end up only taking two damage here, which is a shame. We've got Centennial Puzzle. The first time I lose HP each combat, draw three cards, as well as Burst or Nightmare. Um, I could burst something like Blur, but Nightmare is a little dangerous since I don't have a lot of energy. Let's take the burst and uh, hope it'll give me something good later. We got Molten Egg whenever you add an attack into your deck. Upgraded. Very nice to get this early on. And here we got the Grim Knob. If I can enter Wrath early, this should be great. Uh, okay. Let me see if this helps. 28 incoming. Uh, can I kill here? Uh, let's do Bash. No, I can't even get close, right? All right, fine. I guess I'll do Iron Wave for a little bit of block. All right. It was a risk worth taking, though. Um, I guess I don't have enough offensive cards to be able to easily kill there. All right. We got Nunchaku. Every time I play 10x hacks, gain extra energy, as well as Bullet Time, Corpse Explosion, or Alchemize. Corpse Explosion is nice, especially with the um, burst that I have. Bullet Time is not a bad idea either. I do have a lot of high-cost cards. Alchemize, they're all good. Since I don't have a lot of card draw, let's go with the Corpse Explosion. Okay. All right. Here I got another shop. Probably want to go for... Uh, this is tough. Um, I guess I can do something like Shrug it off and Acrobatics. Um, or a po po uh, potion, like Duplication Potion. No, I think I should focus on cards, so let's do these two. Okay. Since the last Elite cannot be the Gremlin Knob anymore. Since I barely have any gold, I think I'll go for a regular fight here. Okay, 13 incoming. Let's do After Image, Anger. Okay. And then can I kill this guy? 10? Yeah, I can just kill him. Okay. I don't have to take any damage. All right, and then I guess I could have done Corpse Explosion first, but uh, here, this is enough to kill too, right? Yep. All right, we've got a Flex Potion, Heal Hook, Skewer, Spot Weakness. Spot Weakness is not a bad idea, but I think I'll go for Skewer here, especially since upgraded. Since it is upgraded. All right, Lagavulin again. Um, yeah, ideally we'll try to burst uh, the Corpse Explosion. That would be the best case scenario here. Definitely want to get the... Yeah, I can't do the Corpse Explosion now. I'll wake him next turn, right? So let's wait. I would, I do want to get the After Image out. Uh, did not get the After Image out. That's unfortunate. Let me burst the Blur. Okay, that way I'm at least fully defended. Almost fully defended next turn. Um, and I can play the After Image. Okay, let's do After Image. Um, that alone... Actually, no, I can just do Bash. That way he'll be weakened too. Okay. Mm -hmm, another 18... It's going to be hard to defend against. Uh, let's do Shrug it off. Uh, defend is enough to be fully defended there, and I'll do a Skewer. Okay. All right. Can I uh, deal a lot of damage here, please? Uh, bash, Strike, and Anger. Okay. Yeah. Now, without the decks, it's very difficult. Um, nothing I can do, right? 18 incoming. Actually, maybe if I drank the potion, uh, the flex potion last turn, that would have, that might have been enough. But I think I'll keep it for the slime. 
Yeah, let's just do strike, defend here. Okay, I'll take damage. So looks like I wasn't able to perfect any of the Act 1 elites. So I wonder if that's going to be enough for me to perfect the game. 12, 24 should be enough with the uh, Wrath. Okay. We got Vajra, so I just come with one strength as well as a swift potion and... Ooh, definitely not demon form, but double tap? Um, Yeah, I need energy for double tap to be worth it. Unload might be good, although I haven't seen a single curse yet. Let's take unload. It's upgraded too. <clears throat> Alright, here I am okay losing the gold for a relic here. We got Captain's Wheel at the start of your third turn. Gain 18 block. Very nice. And then here, probably should upgrade that after image now. Yeah, I think it's time. Alright, let's see. So here I want to enter Wrath and stay in it. Um, let me do acrobatics first. Oof. Okay, I will have to make a choice between Bash and the after image, and I'll go with Bash because I want to be super offensive here. Try to kill before he has a chance to attack me. So this will deal um, 48 damage. Um, so that'll bring him down to 71 exactly, right? Let's do it. I didn't miscalculate. Nope. Okay. So then any attack will kill next turn. And he's still vulnerable. All right, not the best hand here, but uh, I guess I'll do strike, strike, zap. Yeah, 48 is not the best split. I'm just now getting the eruption. Of course, they're both attacking me. Um, what can I do here? What can I draw that would help me? Let me try something. So if I do eruption, I'll need to deal 24 damage. So that's 14 with the eruption. That's enough on one of them. I should have enough. Yeah, let's do eruption, anger. So this guy's gonna split, and then uh, dagger throw. Oh, perfect! Another anger. Uh, let me actually strike you, and then just kill you. Yeah. Okay. I think that's good. So now I only have one enemy on the field. Um, Sixteen incoming. Uh, let's do. I have to kill one of them, right? Do I want to risk drawing a or not drawing a strike? Actually, a bash alone is enough, so let's do... You know what? Let me just kill you and then strike. Okay, I think it works out in the end. It was a little close, though. Almost didn't perfect that one. All right, we got a power potion, and I mean, I can't not take Juggernaut. After Mitch and Juggernaut together, every card I play deals 5 or 7 when upgraded damage. Just too good to leave. Uh, Runic Pyramid is interesting here. I don't think I... I, mean, I guess I got to remove basic strikes or defense from with Empty Cage, but... Mm. If I take Runic Pyramid, though, I don't really have good ways of discarding things like Curses. That's going to be a problem. So I am a little skeptical. But that way I can also keep the Burst and the Blur. Mm. Yeah, let's do Runic Pyramid. At the end of your turn, you no longer discard your hand. Sure. So now I am looking for ways to either exhaust my hand or discard it. Just in case I do pick up Curses, because I would like to. Um, no 5 Elite Path. I only see 4. Far left gives me four question marks and uh, and elite shop with the four elites. Is there another four elite path? Not really. I, I guess I could go for this elite, but that'll give me less question marks and then go back here. Yeah, so I think I'll stick with the far left. Okay. All right, 12 incoming. Let's do after image um, on uh, survivor. Hang on, one, two, three. That's not enough. Let me... Uh, do I want to do both Survivor and Defend? Yeah, fine. I'll take one damage to uh, deal a bunch more. Okay. Alright, uh, here... Let's see. I would like to apply Weakness, but... Um, you know what? Fine. Let's do Bash. And then Defend. And... Um, I, I guess I should have burst the Defense. Yeah, well, I'm fully Defended this way, too. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm fully Defended here. Let's do Juggernaut. Great. And then I'll do strike. Okay. And then next turn I'll do a big skewer. Mm -hmm. Ten incoming. Uh, actually, can I do uh, eruption and skewer? Not really, right? This will be 15 plus another 32. That's not going to be enough. Uh, so let's just do shrug it off. Okay. And then skewer. All right. Okay, I really need more Angers. I think any zero-cost card now with the After Image and um, Juggernaut combination is going to be great. We got a Colorless Potion, Swarp Boomerang, Second Anger. 
Probably go for Noxious Fumes here. Not that I'm going uh, building a potion, a poison deck, but with the burst it might be suitable. Definitely not Sword Boomerang. I don't have any uh, extra strength. Let's go with the Noxious Fumes here. Okay. Um, no, I mean there are cards I would like to remove, but it's too expensive. I'd rather use it on on um, cards in the shop. So here, let's do. Oh, if I do After Image and Juggernaut, uh, no, let's just do After Image, Blur, and Survivor. Okay. And then next turn I'll play the Juggernaut. Mm -hmm. All right, that's a lot of incoming. Um, huh? Maybe I should just fully defend here. Burst, you shrug it off. So how much am I getting incoming? 15, 23, so 28. If I burst this, that'll be 26. Yeah, I think that's fine. Okay. And then I can do Zap, sure. Still haven't played the Juggernaut. I really want to. It's just really cool when every card you play it just deals a bunch of damage. Um, oh, now I'll take more, right? It's 35 incoming. Uh, all right, I think it's time to bring one of these uh, to the ground, the one who is attacking for the most. All right, um, let's do Iron Wave for a little bit of extra block, and then I'll do the... Uh, I don't want to do the Unload. Yeah, let me just do a regular strike, because if, if I do unload, I'll um, lose the Juggernaut, and I really don't want to lose that. Okay. Alright, Backliner is attacking. Uh, so I think now I'll do Juggernaut. Yep. And then Defend and Anger. Oh, I'm actually... Getting, oh, right. I was going to take more damage if the back, if the Frontliner didn't already die. Okay, and then here, can I do... They just keep attacking me. There's not much I can do here. Uh, so, let's see. Let's do Iron Wave. I'm also running out of defensive cards to play here. And then let's do... If I do Corpse Explosion... Actually, yeah, this will be enough to kill. All right, annoying fight there, but got it in the end. Got a Dex Potion that I am not going to take. Dodge and Roll is pretty good. Yeah, let's take it. All right, uh, and I'm going for this path. Yeah, two more question marks. Upgrade a card that has to be the Juggernaut. Mm -hmm. And then here, yeah, now now my priority is to play both of those as soon as possible. Uh, let's do Strike, Dodge and Roll. Mm -hmm. All right, 19 incoming. Uh, Corpse Explosion is probably good. I can burst it. Let's burst it. Yeah, the lack of energy is bothering me a little bit, but I think this is fine. So now I'm taking 10 damage. If I had one more energy, I would have played the Survivor as well. Okay, and then... Uh, oh, Skewer is not actually enough to kill here, right? Um, hang on. I am almost fully defended, so maybe... Uh, I probably should still deal the damage. Uh, let's do Noxious Fumes and then Skewer. Okay. Alright, and then here I should be able to kill with the Bash, yeah. Right, we got a blessing of the forge. All right, I'm clearly not using the flex potion here. Quick slash heavy blade. Let's take the quick slash. Okay. All right, book of stabbing. This might be a little rough to perfect. Uh, let's do after image, and then see what this gives me. Mind blast is not powerful enough. Let's mm, trip trip would apply weakness. Let's do that. And I'm actually thinking of upgrading everything. Can I defend there? So eight. Yeah, I can. Let's upgrade everything. And then I can burst the trip. Okay, so that's two turns of weakness. And then probably have to burst to defend here. A little overkill in terms of defense, but better than not perfecting. 12 incoming here. Let's do defend survivor. And probably the blur. Yeah. And then I'll play everything else. That way I'll keep some block for next turn when he's not weakened anymore. Yep, and I'm fully defended. Great. Uh, do I want... Let's do Corpse Explosion and Unload. Okay. Alright, 24. Um, yeah, see, I want to play the Juggernaut, but then I'll take damage. So, there's no good alternative, though. Let's do Anger. Yeah, I don't think there's much I can do. I can't defend against 24. Let's just do Juggernaut and then Dodge and Roll. And, uh, sure, I'll do Skewer. Okay, all right. Yeah, too bad. I, I I can't imagine what type of deck would allow me to perfect this one. 30 incoming. I probably, again, want to do the bash for defense, uh, for weakness. All right, and then probably just a defend here. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then 21. I think I should be able to kill here. Uh, trip, dagger throw. Actually, maybe I should have done uh, eruption here. Well, never too late for that. 
All right, we got Caliper, so at the start of your turn, lose 15 block rather than all of your block. Nice. And then Impervious fits great with this. Mm -hmm. All right, next, maybe I should upgrade that Impervious. Let's do it. Now that I have Calipers, it actually will uh, hang on to some of my block. All right, uh, let's do... Let me see what power pushing I get here. Rupture footwork. Footwork is really good in this case. After image, dodge and roll, blur. Actually, yeah, there's nothing I can do to perfect still. Should have done the Iron Wave. That would allow me to play one more defensive card, but still, that would not have been enough to perfect or to defend fully. Um, so here, let's do... Um, Iron Wave. Okay. And then Impervious. And uh, I'll do a Skewer. And then I want to play the Corpse Explosion next turn. Maybe I should have kept the Skewer, played it with the Corpse Explosion. Okay, because now I'm vulnerable. Let's do... I was hoping for a blur to... Or a... Um, not blur. A burst. So the unloaded alone is not enough. Um, I, I still have to do it, though. Okay. And the next turn, he'll be dead and kill almost all the others. Actually, I guess I'm fully defended there. Okay. And then, so... 47, I have to do a little extra damage to this guy. Let's do bash... Um, he's not yet. Actually, no, I can kill, uh, yeah, I can do this and this. Okay. Alright, just that first turn that I took damage here. Got Thread Needle, Sarge Khan with four plated armor. Very nice. Malaise is really powerful. Might help with a lot of the elites here. Um, and then doesn't matter if I go left or right. I do want to get to this question mark. Got Kunai, every time I play three attacks in a single turn, gain one dexterity. Very nice. I desperately just need extra energy. Oh, and of course they're all attacking me. Great. Uh, let's do after image, um, iron wave, anger. No. Let's do maybe one energy skewer. Oh no, I can't even can't kill the backliner. Uh, I guess I have to skewer instead of the blur. There's no way I could have defended, right? Yeah, that's fine. And then anger. Okay. Yeah, nothing I could have done in this particular scenario would allow me to defend to perfect. Uh, let's do Corpse Explosion. Uh, quick Slash is not enough. Uh, let me do Blur here. Okay. Next turn I can do the Impervious. Maybe wait. Oh yeah, he has all the minions here. Perfect. Uh, so let's do Impervious. No. Um, hang on. 18. Can I kill this guy? I can with an Unload. Let me just do Juggernaut and Unload. No, let me do Impervious. Hang on, I can Unload this guy too, right? Yeah, let's do Juggernaut and then unload on this guy. That will kill all the other minions. Mm -hmm. Alright, and since I'm not getting attacked here, I think I'll try the Eruption. Or Burst the Malaise. Fine, let me Burst the Malaise. Okay. Alright. And then I can always enter Eruption whenever he's not attacking. Yeah, uh, whenever I guess I'm closer to killing though. Uh, let's see, so Quick Slash kills you. And then I can do so strike kills you now, and uh, bash. And if he's not attacking, I'll enter eruption next turn. But I think this is no, he is okay. But luckily, I'm fully defended there. Perfect. Dagger throw, and strike. Whoops, oh, he's dead. We got peace pipe. You can now remove cards from your deck at the rest sites, as well as an upgrade. Die to die. Reaper is not that useful if I don't have any strength, but AOE is necessary, and it's a good card. So I could get a collector bonus here, but I think I'll skip. I also would like to preserve my max HP. And then here, let's upgrade um, Malaise. Yep. And then maybe Burst next. That way I can have really powerful Malaises. All right. This is the right path, right? Yeah. Oh, actually, was it the right path? I guess if I wanted to avoid the shop, I could have gone this way. But a shop is not a bad idea. So I don't have any um, potions. Let me do After Image, shrug it off. Uh, I am fully defended already. So let's just do a zap here. Okay. I do have a bash for weakness if I have to use it. But Malaise might be better. So Malaise will bring him down to 2 times 3 plus the weakness is 1 times 3. So I think that's definitely worth it. Let's do it. Yep. All right. So now negative 4 strength is going to help me quite a bit. And I'm fully defended this turn. Let's do Juggernaut. And then um, Blur. Do I want that? No, let's keep it for another turn. Um, here, let me just do something like Nauseous Fumes. Okay. I'd actually have a chance with a negative four strength here. Four incoming. I am defending against that. Uh, let's do dodge and roll. Strike and quick slash. Okay. 
Another 12. I have 10. Uh, should I burst the impervious? Let's do that. That way I don't have to worry about block pretty much ever again. Okay. And actually the Juggernaut is dealing most of the damage at this point already, right? So let's just do Skewer to kill. All right, finally, first perfected elite. We got Ceramic Fish. When we add a card to your deck, gain nine gold. As well as um, Storm of Steel. I'll take it just because it is a way of getting rid of my hand. Uh, I haven't seen a single curse yet, so I don't, I'm not going to take Blue Candle. Do I want Orange Pellets? I don't get that many debuffs. Although if I see something like Wraith Form, that would be a great debuff to get rid of. Um, probably don't need Pummel. Cloak and Dagger is not a bad idea. Swift Strike is okay. Lots of options here. I think I'll go with the orange pellets. Whenever you play par, attack and skill in the same turn. Remove all of your debuffs. And then I can take Cloak and Dagger. And for the upcoming boss, which potion would I want most? Probably a weakness potion, right? Um, or an flame? Tough decision here. Let's go with the weakness potion. That might allow me. That might make a difference between perfecting and not perfecting. Who knows? All right, next, let's upgrade that burst. Okay. All right. So, start off with the malaise. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. All right, so quite a bit of incoming here. Um, I, as always, have trouble defending. Let's do after image. Survivor. And then, uh, hang on, I have to come up with 24 block, right? Uh, I don't think there's a way to do that. Not really. Um, even if I throw a weakness potion, that's not going to be enough. Yeah, I, I, I'm not sure if I should have played that big malaise or done something else. Yeah, now I'm fully defended. Yeah, this is this is somewhat somewhat of a shame here. Let's do die to die. And I'll do Storm of Steel, clean up my hand a little bit. Okay. Get a bunch of decks that way too. All right. If I had the decks earlier, I would have been able to perfect this one. Okay. Um, here I can something like burst the impervious again. Should be fairly useful. Okay. Mm -hmm. Waiting for the corpse explosion, most importantly here. All right. Yeah, I should be fully defended here, right? That's 50. Oh, actually, if I can play a power skill and attack, I don't have an attack here. At least not a zero cost. Uh, in that case, let me keep the power for later. Let's do a corpse explosion, and then maybe I'll just do unload. That'll kill the minions at least. Let's do it. Um, yep. Okay. So that way I only have to worry about 25 incoming. He's not attacking here. Uh, let's do noxious fumes, blur, and anger. That way I get rid of my debuffs. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now I'm fully defended here. Let's do Juggernaut. Um, and then I do want to keep the burst, so let's not play unload just yet. Let's do Anger and just a strike. Oh, I could have played another strike. That was my mistake. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, and then here, probably burst the Corpse Explosion. That's going to deal a lot of damage. Um, I miscalculated. should have attacked the Backliner. Yeah, that's fine. Since I'm already not perfecting, it's not a big deal. But yeah, if I attack the backliner, uh, I would have killed everybody, or the minions this turn at least. So now I'll deal 80 damage. Uh, just have to worry a little bit about the backliner. Okay. Actually, with the poison, that should be enough to kill next turn, right? Yep. All right. Um, so I did end up taking a bunch of damage, but um, I don't see how I could have perfected this fight. Let's see what I got, though. Offering is pretty good here. Yeah, I think I should take that. No question about that. Here, I would definitely need energy. I do wonder if I should go for a calling ball up and pick up, obtain a unique curse and three relics. With the offering, I think my energy concerns should be um, less important. And also, this just gives me three relics, including anchor, so I just come with 10 block, horn cleat, at the start of your second turn, gain 14 block, and wing boots, which is the best. You may ignore path when choosing the next room to travel to three times. Now, I have all of the uh, naval stuff, so anchor, horn cleat, and captain's wheel. So. Don't own Deku at the end, which makes the Corpse Explosion really good. And I have the Wing Boots. So I can do one, two, three elites here with two jumps. Uh, hang on. Okay, this is tough. So without any jumping, I could get four elites. But I, I want to try. I can definitely get five. I want to try to get six. 
Yeah, so if I go one, two, three, four, five, six. So I can do six. Can I do seven? I don't think I can do seven. This path would have been the same, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so that would have been six, two. So to do seven, I would have to have most of them be on the same path. So I can't take this one. Um, one two. Yeah, no, I think I can do only six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I don't see there a way to do seven. Which is fine. All right, so there are multiple six elite paths. Either I do jump here twice, and then uh, let me count the question marks that way. So I can do four question marks. I guess at this point, am I looking for curses? I have one already. I guess if I get four more, it is possible. So if I do two, uh, four question marks, then do one, two, three elites, and then that's already two jumps, and then I keep on this path with two more elites so that's five and then jump over one so that's just gonna be the four early question marks the alternative is i do the four early question marks and then i get to this point after three elites and then do one jump two jump three jump that'll give me one extra question mark yeah let's do that then anyway the, the beginning is the same in either scenario okay so let's do after image offering okay and then probably just storm of steel right with juggernaut that should deal a lot of damage um yeah okay Shiv, shiv, more shivs, and more shivs. Okay. All right. Um, here I can uh, burst the dodge and roll. That'll deal a bunch of damage too. Okay. And then this should be enough to kill. Awesome. We got an explosive potion. Power through. Very good defensive card. Although the wounds will stay in my hand. That might be annoying. But still worth it. Okay. And then here is potential curse number two, which I, again, can't get rid of. Fine. Okay. Um, here, let's see what I get. Uh, Jack of all trades, fourth augment. Jack of all trades is fine. Trip is not a bad idea with the champion's belt. Dramatic entrance is also really good. And uh, thinking ahead might be nice, too, here. So I think here I'll go... Forethought might allow me to basically... Oh, that's only one card. I think if upgraded, you can put any number of cards. Yeah, let's do Jack of All Trades. Here, I think Dramatic Entrance. And then next, I think I'll take the Trip. Okay. All right. Definitely want to fight for the Relic here. Okay, so let's do After Image Offering. All right. And then Trip. Dramatic Entrance. Okay. And then, uh, let's see, Iron Wave, probably just, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking too much about it. I should probably just do straight-up attacks. Maybe apply Malaise on the backliner. Let's do that. Okay. Mm -hmm. 24. Um, here, let's do Noxious Fumes, um, Survivor, and Zap. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, that's another 30. Uh, Storm of Steel is pretty good. Oh, I don't have the Juggernaut active yet. Okay, never mind. Maybe not that good yet. This is 19, probably not fully enough. Let's do a Shrug it off. Yeah, and then I think I'll just do Storm of Steel. Give me a bunch of decks as well. Mm -hmm. Alright. Yeah, and then I just need a uh, Corpse Explosion. That should be enough to kill. Uh, there it is. Perfect. Alright. Okay. All right, uh, we got Charon's Ashes. So whenever you exhaust a card, deal three damage to all enemies. That makes the uh, Storm of Steel much more powerful. Definitely not perfect the strike. Flechettes might not be a bad idea. I do often have a full hand with a lot of skills. All right, here are two normalities. That means I won't get the Highlander modifier anymore. It also means I have two normalities and a bu oh, I mean, what do I need a bunch of gold if I don't have a shop on this path? So let me see. The only sh guaranteed shop is there, and I don't want to waste a jump just because of that. Actually, I guess I can do jump one, then take a shop, elite, elite, jump two, and then Yeah, I'll miss the one elite that way. This is rough. And the normalities will stay in my hand, right? I can't get rid of them with the ring pyramid. Yeah, I don't think I can do that. I don't think I can. Yeah, I think I have to do the rare relic here. I mean, I am foregoing 25 gold, but um, I guess if I knew whether one of the upcoming question marks was a shop, I might have done it, but I can't do it right now. Even now, I still have curses that stay in my hand, right? Uh, so I could do malaise. Uh, actually, hang on. With weakness, that's going to be uh, a quarter, eight, sixteen. Yeah, let's just do malaise. I won't have to worry about it. Uh-huh. I'm fully defended. 
And then I can wait next turn to uh, actually bring it down. Alright, uh, do I want to do Skewer here? Might not be a bad idea. Actually, Flechettes is also good. Let's do Flechettes and then Corpse Explosion. Okay. Maybe I should have waited for a, um, a Burst to do the Corpse Explosion, but I don't think it's a big deal. Uh, so here, Storm of Steel is actually not a good idea. Let's wait till he is done transforming. Let's do... Im actually, I am fully defended here, right? Let's just do an Anger and... Um, uh, I'll keep the rest, yeah. We can wait one more turn. Okay, six incoming. Uh, let's just do a defend. Mm -hmm. And then here, let's do the Storm of Steel. Sure. Yeah, sure, why not? One, two, so each ship deals, uh, well, more than, uh, more than just the five damage, right? Because Chance Ash is also exhaust. Okay. Also got three decks out of that. Useful. Five incoming. Let's do trip for weakness. I should have bursted that. Nah, that's fine. I can do this. Okay. Alright, yeah. This is easy. I, I was way overthinking it. Let's see. Dramatic entrance. Dagger throw. Okay. Shrug it off. And then unload. Oh, no. No, no. I do want to play the Juggernaut next turn. If I can draw the Juggernaut a little earlier, I think I would deal way more damage to everybody. Juggernaut, and then unload. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then should be able to kill fairly easily here with a bash. No, bash is not enough. Die, die, die is in. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see. We got loser tail. One of you die. Heal to 50% of your max HP instead. Fear potion is much better than the explosive potion. I'll take it, and then I'll take a pummel strike here. Okay. I wonder. So I, if I take the turn of Malice, I couldn't have got another 100 points. Actually, I would have lost my Highlander, right? So you gain 100, you lose 100. Um, I'll keep the malaise for later. Yeah, the malaise might be really powerful here. Okay, 45. Okay, I need more than just a malaise. Let's do power through, and then I'll do the malaise. Okay. Could have also thrown the fear potion instead, but I think this is good. Unfortunately, I have the wounds in my hand. The shets is not that much. Uh, probably just a big skewer here. Yeah. Do I want to throw the fear potion? It's a little risky, but let's do it. No reason to hang on to it. So 16-3. Yeah, lack of. If I had an energy relic, this would have been a much better, much better fight. 31 again. Um. Okay, not great. Don't have too many defensive cards here. Let's do blur. Defend. No, no, I don't think there's anything I can do about this. Yeah, my hand was too full in the end. And he's already weakened, right? So adding weakness wouldn't have done anything. All right. Shame, shame. Um, let's get rid of the uh, Wraith and then Survivor the Wound. And then um, Flesh Hats is too weak at this point. Let's just get rid of the Strike. Yeah, could have definitely perfected this one. Just wasn't able to. Um, nine incoming. Let's do... Oh, he's not weakened anymore. Okay. Probably Bash and Dodge and Roll then. Mm -hmm. That way, next turn he'll be vulnerable. Another thir 42. Okay. Um, not happy how often he's attacking. I guess I can fully defend with the Impervious, but uh, I guess I can also weaken. Hang on. Flechettes does a lot of damage. Let's do um, Trip and then Flechettes for 60 damage. Not bad at all. And then I'll do Impervious. Yep. Okay. And next turn I can burst the Corpse Explosion. I think that should be enough. Uh, nine incoming. I am fully defending against that. Mm -hmm. And then next turn, I just deal, need to deal a little bit of damage with the attacks that I have. Pummel strike, anger. Yep. Yeah. Rough fight. We got the boot. Whenever you deal four or less unblocked attack damage, increase it to five. As well as fiend fire. Yeah, fiend fire is great here. Keep going straight. Okay. So after image, dramatic entrance, blur. Do I want to do power through? It's a little too early. Let's not do that. I'll keep it for emergency. So I want to put the wounds in my deck. 13. Um, cloak and Dagger Acrobatics. And uh, Eruption is interesting, but too suicidal, I think. So let me do this. Okay. Yeah, actually, Eruption might be a card I want to remove at this point. Um, Alright, let's do Jack of All Trades. Uh, violence is not really what I needed here. Um, unload is not a bad idea. Yeah, let me do Impervious and then Unload. Okay. Alright, 49. Uh, Storm of Steel. Uh, yeah, let's do Die, 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 and then Storm of Steel. 
Okay. Could have done an uh, anger first, but didn't matter too much. All right. So here I'll probably go with the backstab, right? Cheap zero cost card. Let's definitely take it and upgrade it. Okay. All right, giant head. Um, here I just need the juggernaut as soon as possible. Let's do dramatic entrance, quick slash. Uh, yep, there is the juggernaut. Nice. Okay. All right, 13 incoming. I am fully defended here. Let's do juggernaut first, then acrobatics. Okay. And then do I just want to do a fiend fire here? Might be a good idea. Actually, I'll do an impervious first. Yeah, because I'll hang on to that block and then dodge and roll. And then next turn, I think I can do a big fiend fire. Okay. All right, here I'll do a trip and then get burn all of my curses here. Very nice. Also deals a bunch of damage with the Charon's Ashes there. Okay. Not bad at all. All right, so my hand should be much freer now. Uh, let's do Jack of all trades, Panache. Um, I think I'll burst the Malaise here for extra turns of weakness. Mm-hmm. Okay, now the fun starts. 18 incoming. I still have 54 blocks, so that's good. Um, Flechettes is not that powerful yet. Let's do... Let me do... Hmm, I should probably focus on offense a little bit. Power through acrobatics. As I said, offense, I start playing defensive cards, but... Um, here I'll do anger pummel strike. Okay. I'm waiting for a big skewer turn. 21. Yeah, this is probably it. Uh, Flechettes is still not that useful. Let me do... Okay, let, let's wait. Um, let's do... Defend an Iron Wave. And next turn I can do the big skewer turn. Yeah, I'm being a little hesitant, but I think it's worth it. I am perfecting, so... Okay. Now right, we got a Preserved Insect. Enemies in Elite Combats have 25% less HP, and then I already have uh, the Storm of Steel. Between Envenom and Demon Form, not a big fan of any, but I'll go with the Envenom because I do want to get 250 cards if I can. And then here I'm going this way and then jumping over for the first time, right? Got Giria, you can now gain strength of rest sites up to three times max. Too bad I don't have too many rest sites on the path. Nemesis again. Um, wow, can't use the burst here. Weird, all right. It will help me with defense though. 18, almost fully defended there. Uh, probably want to burst the corpse explosion here, right? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Alright, another 18. I am still fully defended. Uh, here I want to do power through and then the fiend fire, right? Uh, let's do that. Power through and fiend fire. Okay. Alright. 111 damage, right? Perfect. Yeah, perfect this one too. Got a bottle of lightning. I'm pick up just a skill, so I just come with this guy in your hand. Let me first see adrenaline is pretty good. And here I think I'll take the um, offering. Yeah. Okay. So jumping over once, twice, three times. Yeah, I think that's our best path. Reptomancer. All right, let's do after mid dramatic entrance. Okay, and then offering. I think I should kill the minions by just by exhausting cards. So backstab, and then I wonder if I should do dodge and roll now. No, I think I'll do a malaise here. I do remember the first shop had a uh, chemical X? That would have been really powerful if I had it. Okay, so I'm almost fully defended. Let's do die die die. Oh, I should have done the uh, corpse explosion. Not too late, I guess. Doesn't do that. It's only 22 damage, right? Um, and this guy's going to be dead with the next card I exhaust. So maybe I'll just do... Um... Yeah, I don't think I have to worry about him. Let's do dodge and roll. Dagger throw. And then, uh, yeah, for example, I can burst the corpse explosion next time. And then let's just do uh, noxious fumes. Sure. Okay. All right. 18. I am fully defended here. Uh, you know what? Let me burst the corpse explosion. That will deal a good amount of damage. Okay. I can do an anger here. All right. Yeah, 44. Not not nothing to laugh at. And then skewer kills. Okay. All right. Got mango up and pick up. Raise your max should be by 14. Very nice. Ooh, late feed, but useful. I just need a little bit of max HP to get more than. Um, uh, how many relics that is. So, uh, uh, not relics, max HP. Uh, I don't have a guaranteed shop upcoming, so I will lose all my gold for the relic, which is the, um, what is it? A red mask, I starvish combat, apply one week to all enemies, which is very good because um, I do need to get rid of the uh, artifact art charges on the uh, Dono Deku. Okay, giant head again. Let's do after image offering. And then um, trip is good, adrenaline. Okay. 
And then here, let's do just the attacks, right? One, two. Actually, I only have two energies worth of attacks. So maybe power through since I'm going to get rid of stuff with unload anyway. Okay, let's do power through. And then impervious. And then strike. Uh, no, dramatic entrance, strike, backstab, and unload. Okay. Not more than 100 damage, unfortunately. I have to rely on Dono and Deku to uh, allow me to do more than 100 damage. Um, might be hard to use the feed here, but I should definitely try. Let's do the malaise, though. I think extra turns of weakness would be good. Okay. Alright. Um, here, let's do... Uh, probably just all attacks, right? Strike, pummel strike. And then, uh, probably can do Storm of Steel next time. Unfortunately, though, that means I won't be able to use the feed. Uh, definitely want to do Juggernaut, though. Juggernaut, I think, what saved me last time against the giant head. Yeah, Flesh Sheds is not that great here. Let's do Juggernaut. And then Anger. Should have done the dodge roll first. Okay. To be a little careful, because the, um... Yeah, I deal a lot of da damage with the Juggernaut now. 14, 19 incoming. Let's do die, die, die. Okay. And then Iron Wave... And Quick Slash. Okay. I also have the Eruption Feed combination possibility, but um, I don't think I'm there yet. Let's do Bash. Alright, and then... I'm afraid I might just kill if I'm too careless. Okay. Yeah, I think now I can use the Feed, right? 19. Hang on, let's be really careful here. Let's do Noxious Fumes. Okay, and now I can use the feed. Alright, so now I have enough max HP. Got Ancient T-Set, when I enter Rest Site, start next combo with two extra energy, as well as a Blood Potion I don't need. And I already have these two. Do I want a Corruption? It would help quite a bit in this deck. Let's take it. Why not? Alright, and last jump. Nemesis again. Fought three Nemesis. Uh, let's do After Image Offering, as always. And then I uh, definitely want to use the feed, even though it's not going to really help me with the score. Jack of All Trades gives me a Panacea, sure. And then um, just the attacks, right? Bash, die, die, die. Dramatic entrance, backstab, and a strike. Okay, actually, no, I'm not. I'm not there yet. Um, yeah, fine. I'll wait. Okay, another twelve. I am fully defended there. I can even do a malaise. All right. And the next turn, I can do eruption feed. Right, that should be enough. Let's do trip, eruption. And feed. Okay. Alright, we got Turnip. You can no longer become frail. As well as I already have these two. Probably don't want 1,000 cuts. And I'm not close to the 50 card threshold. So I don't think I have the pressure of taking it. Let's lift here. Extra strength would be nice. Okay. Alright, Dono Deco. Let's see what you got. I do have a good set of potions here. Let's start with After Image. Offering as always. Okay. Flechettes is not that powerful here. Um... Let me see. So let's see what power potion I get first. In Venom is not a bad idea to get rid of the artifact. Let's do that. Okay. And then I can do flechettes. No, backs, uh, dramatic entrance first. Okay. So now I'll do trip on you to make him weaken. Okay, so now I'm fully defended. I'll keep the flechettes for later. Um, let's do shrug it off. Da 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 is good. Okay. And then strike, backstab. Do I want to do the fiend fire? I don't really want to. Yeah, I think instead I'll just do flechettes. And I have the energy. Let's play the impervious here. Okay. All right, twenty six. Uh, malaise is pretty good. Yeah, I think here I'll do power through, and then malaise. And then next turn I can do bash, and the turn after I can do fiend fire. Yeah. I do need to draw the course explosion and play that as soon as I can. Uh, do I want to do Corruption here? Not a bad idea. Yeah, let's do Corruption. And then um, I can do Defend. Okay. Haven't played the Juggernaut either yet, right? Okay, so let's do Defend. Definitely Bash. Alright. Acrobatics. Get rid of the... Um, let's get rid of a... Eh, doesn't matter. I can play it. Let's get rid of a Wraith here, sure. And then, um, is there anything I want to burst? I mean, no, I should burst the Corpse Explosion. Yeah, let's do Zap, Dodge and Roll, and then uh, Iron Wave and Strike. Okay. Still have 20 cards. Hopefully I can draw the Corpse Explosion soon. Mm -hmm. 
Still not there. I don't really need to draw the Corpse Explosion for the burst. Yeah, I can just do... Let me see if Dagger Throw gives it to me, though. It did. Good. All right. So, Bursty Corpse Explosion. And might as well Bursty Blur. Okay. And then um, let's do Fiend Fire. Might be enough, right? Perfect. 500 damage. All right. Okay, didn't perfect as much as I wanted. Yeah, especially the second act boss, not perfecting that is is, is rough. We got 1371. So if I had perfected that last, uh, the second act boss, I would have gotten 1471, which was very close to Warpod's original score. But yeah, ultimately I didn't. So I got six out of the 14 elites perfected. So not all of them. Uh, did get Alex Shiny, uh, Highlander. I don't think I could have gotten Curses, right? Because I only was offered two more normalities plus the two I already have. So that would be a total of four. Not enough for five, and I would have lost my Highlander modifier. Um, but yeah, ultimately, always the combination of um, Aftermatch and Juggernaut is just so much fun, right? Every card you play, it just, just deals damage. Uh, I should say, yeah, I, I wasn't super fast. If I played four and a half minutes faster, I would have gotten another 50 points, which would have put me at, together with Perfecting the Last Boss, at uh, 1496. So uh, theoretically, it would have been possible for me to reach a Vorpal score, although... Uh, again, I don't see a good way that I could have perfected the uh, act boss, uh, second act boss elite. So there's nothing, uh, boss, sorry, second act boss. There's nothing I could have done. But I'm happy with the score. 17th uh, rank is not a bad idea. So thanks for watching. Bye.